And finally, to our special segment, Resurgent Africa. Amid the coups and the crises, there are many positive stories from Africa that often get overlooked, but not on this show. Artificial intelligence is emerging as a beacon of hope for women in Uganda, in a place where the joy of pregnancy is often overshadowed by limited access to health care an AI-powered ultrasound technology is breaking barriers and offering a glimpse of hope. It is a promise of healthier pregnancies and brighter tomorrows for countless families across the nation. Our report gets you all the details. Pregnancy is often hailed as one of the most profound and beautiful experiences of life. Despite the long nine months without seeing their baby, expectant parents embrace the journey with anticipation and love. The bond formed during this period is unparalleled as parents imagine and dream of the life growing within. Thanks to recent technological advancements, expectant mothers can now catch a glimpse of their future child through sonography. These images provide not only a visual connection, but also an assurance that everything is progressing well. It's a beautiful reminder that life in all its miraculous stages continues to flourish. Unfortunately, this incredible technology remains out of reach for many in low- and middle-income countries. Trained specialists are scarce and essential equipment is often found only in urban hospitals. The journey to access these services can be long and costly, leaving many women without the vital care they need. In response to this disparity, artificial intelligence is being harnessed to develop technology. It brings the essential benefits of sonography to women who need it most. Early detection in the first trimester is crucial for identifying abnormalities and preventing stillbirths. Uganda is pioneering this technology with a pilot project that uses AI software to power ultrasound imaging. This project not only scans unborn babies, but also encourages women to seek health services earlier in their pregnancies. This proactive approach is helping reduce the risk of stillbirths and complications, bringing hope to many. The AI-based ultrasound software offers accurate pregnancy dating. It measures the fetus's development, helping determine pregnancy progress. Trained on millions of images, the software can recognize gestational stages and is currently in various testing phases, showing promising early results. The software trial also aims to develop a tool to predict high-risk pregnancies. The software, developed at a hospital in Kampala, Uganda, has sparked great interest among pregnant women. Pregnant mothers are very eager to come for ultrasound scans. The hospital is also seeing overwhelming participation in the study, with many women joining without any hesitation. Typically, a technician is required to perform these scans. However, this technology allows midwives or nurses to conduct the scans by simply swiping an ultrasound probe over the abdomen. This innovation makes it possible to provide care at home, especially in rural areas where access to medical facilities is limited. The journey of pregnancy with its blend of anticipation and hope should be supported by access to essential health care. Technology like AI-powered ultrasound is a crucial step for health and development of both the mother and the fetus. Climate change is on our doorstep. It's time for a revolution to take root. And it starts with 1.4 billion Indians. It starts with one tree. One tree for humanity. One tree for Mother Earth. One tree for our future. Project One Tree, a News 18 network initiative. Across continents, one powerful news source. Bringing you diverse perspectives on the issues that matter. We go beyond the boundaries to give you that little extra about every sporting moment. So thank you for making First Post 5 million strong. We're counting on your support and you can trust us to bring you the news unfiltered and unvarnished. Oh, 
and welcome to First Coast America. I'm Eric Hamm, coming to you live from the nation's capital. 